YouTube, Matt M. Roy back again. It's, uh, see, this is May 5th, 2016. Back to you with another vlog for today. Oh, I'm getting a late start. I had a really bad night. Didn't sleep that well. Had some allergies. I just took a, uh, a leg run. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Decided to sit outside because it is rainy and it is cooler and it is just really nice and crisp. And I love this kind of air. Take deep breath. Fills your lungs with fresh air, makes you feel really good, kind of wakes you up too in a way. Um, I was just sitting here right on our little light post out here. Uh, there was a bird going crazy, just singing. It, I'm not even sure what it was. It looked maybe it was like it was some type of um, starling, but it was going nuts, just talking up a storm. Squeaking, squawking, whatever you call it, just going nuts. Um, I really don't have too much to do today. I'm still waiting on that stupid hard drive uh, caddy to come in for the uh, SSD. You know, like I said, it's the adapter. It's a 2.5 to 3.5 inch adapter. And coming from China, I will say it one more time, I am not going to buy anything from China. This is like strike three. I've had two other items come in um, that were subpar, and this one's just taking forever. So... I may check out today about just buying one locally, seeing how much a uh, seeing how much I can get one at our local computer shop. But um, I think we have to go in here and mix. It is really cold out here. I, I I haven't really looked. I'm guessing it's probably in the low 50s, maybe even the high 40s right now, which for May around here is really really cold. It's just uh, very unusual temperature wise. Um, I'm going to do another Q&A video coming up really shortly because I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of questions, a lot of comments. But like I said, it's very hard to actually answer all of them. And I apologize in advance if your comment does not get answered. I can get upwards of four or five hundred uh, comments a day, and I just cannot handle that kind of volume. I mean, I, I, if I was to answer all those all those questions and comments, that would be my full time job basically. So, it, unfortunately, it's just not going to happen. So, what I will do is I will try to do these Q and A's as much as possible. Um, I will add them on to the uh, vlogs when I can hopefully um let's start at least doing it maybe once a week or so that way i'm going to answer the more important questions now that's another thing on your part guys if you want me to um if you want me to comment on those please do not leave me paragraph long comments or questions it's just i'm not going to sit there and read those i'm sorry i i don't have the time to do it make if you're going to leave a comment make it short sweet and to the point um like i said i i just i don't have enough time to read the ones i have let alone sit there and read somebody's paragraph long comment and don't give me the whole your whole life story I, i'm i again i'm sorry i don't mean to be rude i just don't have the time to sit there and read paragraph after paragraph of someone's life story waiting for them to get to the point and i know the majority of you don't do that the majority of you are very very good you uh leave a short sweet question or comment making it to the point but i'm talking to maybe the five to ten percent out there that i'm sure are very intellectual to, to write something that long and in depth you have to be very smart but like i said the problem is i just don't have time to read those let alone uh, respond to everything so remember keep your comments short to the point and you'll be more likely that i will be able to read it and comment back to you well, I'm definitely going to go inside because it is really getting cold right now. Uh, I actually got goosebumps all over my legs. So uh, we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. Or better yet, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. Talk to you in a all little right, bit. Guys, so as you can see, I'm in my room. I apologize for the background noise. I have my uh, Auric, Auric XL Air Purifier going because, once again, my allergies are kind of acting up today. And wasn't able to use it last night because I had to clean the Truman cell and as for any of you guys that actually own one of these know you have to let it dry overnight before you can actually use it again because if you try to use it even even a couple hours after you clean it it'll just give an error because the Truman cell actually electrocutes the dirt and um, when you wash it you can't have any moisture in there if it senses any moisture for safety reasons it's just going to shut the machine off so that's going to be running in the background. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm trying to uh, talk over it. I'm actually just sitting here watching uh, Vlogging Life's video. Uh, I enjoy watching him on occasion. Uh, the only thing, he, do he does tend to curse a little bit more than I would like, at least for my taste. But uh, he does put out some interesting content. 
Uh, one thing I had to do this morning is coin rolls. I tell you, it's amazing how quickly um, you can build up coinage. And I actually did this for me and for my dad. Basically what I did is he, he keeps a uh, cup downstairs he fills with coins. And about once a month I take him upstairs. I roll the coins up, count how much money uh, was in there, and I give him the cash. That way he doesn't have to worry about going to the bank. I just run it over to the bank and I uh, collect the money later on. Minus a small fee for myself. No, no. Imagine if I did that. <laughs> but um, that's what we're going to do probably in the next 20, 30 minutes or so, because I'm going to try to hit up the thrift store again today. Um, I went back later on yesterday, and they did put some computers out, but they were really ancient uh, towers. One was a compact Presario uh, SR series from like 2004. It had a Celeron processor, uh, 512 megabytes of RAM, and 120 gigabyte hard drive. And the other was a Dell Dimension 2400, which I stopped taking in a couple of years ago, because they were even brand new. Those were like the bargain basement Dell computers. And they were decent systems back in the day. They were very solidly built, but they were just slow back then. Even by, even by 2003, 2004 standards, uh, those systems were on the slow side. So really don't have too much of a use for them anymore. Um, they were put out as parts, and they were like 15 bucks. I guarantee you somebody will buy them, because you know, a lot of people still like to use the older systems. Um, but even for getting parts to keep other systems going, even old Windows XP systems, those are a little bit too old. And um, I'd be afraid the parts wouldn't be that reliable because I think that Dell Dimension 2400 uh, I read on the case was from early 2003, so that's a 13-year-old computer, and I just didn't feel it was worth it. Uh, they also put out some type of other air purifier, which I don't need because I have my Auric XL over there, which, by the way, works fantastic when it does work. Uh, one thing drives me nuts about that, and I'm not by no means am I trying to say it's a bad air filter or air purifier, but it takes it's very high maintenance. I would say at least once a week I have to pull that Truman cell out, you know, put it basically you soak it for five minutes to get rid of all the dirt, rinse it off, clean it, just you know wash right off with a paper towel, but then you have to let it sit for a day. So pretty much it's down for two days every week. So. It is what it is. It definitely helps, though. It's a very, it's an industrial strength unit, and uh, I'm definitely very fortunate that I have it because it does help me breathe better at night with my allergies. Well, I'm going to go head out and uh, you know, maybe give it another 15, 20 minutes, have my second cup of coffee. You know how I need to wake up with some coffee in the morning. And, uh, oh, I've been trying a new one. Um, I'm trying to think what the name of it was. It Community Coffee House Blend. It's, uh, I believe it's owned by the Folgers Corporation, but it's like their budget coffee. It was on sale one day at Food Lion, so I decided just to give it a try, and I was very impressed with it. I'm not usually a big Folgers fan. I actually don't usually drink Folgers coffee, um, but the community coffee that I tried, I really enjoyed it. And again, this was the house blend. They had a breakfast blend in the community brand, K-Cups, and also the um, French roast. I had a lot of French roast coffee from another brand, so I figured I'll just give, give the house brand a try. And you get 12K cups in those. They're anywhere usually between $3.99 and $4.99, which for those of you that own a Keurig and, and use it regularly know how expensive most of the K cups usually are. And I'm still waiting for uh, the Mick Cafe cups to go back on sale. They are still by far and away my favorite K cups. But I just can't find anybody has them on sale. And I again, I'm not willing to pay you know, $9, $10 for 12 of those, it's just way too much money. So keep an eye in at Food Line every week. I look at their ad, and I'm pretty sure they're going to have them on sale in the next few weeks because it's been a good two or three months since they've put those on sale. And they usually like to rotate uh, between the K-Cups what they put on sale and what they don't. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to go to the bank, um, get rid of these coin rolls, hit up the thrift store, and uh, talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, guys. So before I head out, I wanted to... Uh, comment on this issue I was having with the selfie stick. Um, as I stated the other day, I bought this uh, selfie stick from Walmart, and one of the features it has is this little uh, headphone jack that plugs into the side of the cell phone. It has a button on the uh, stick that allows me, supposedly allows me to start and stop a recording video and or take pictures, and I thought that would be a nice feature. But there's a problem. When I have that plugged in and I'm trying to record video, Apparently the cell phone thinks that I have an external microphone plugged in. So basically what it's trying to do is record audio through 
an external mic, it actually disables the internal mic, so at least for video recording, the button on the selfie stick is useless because I've yet been able to find a way to disable that function. And if any of you guys out there have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and know how to disable that, I'd really appreciate uh, some assistance because I've been trying to do some of my own research and I have no way of using this like I wanted to. Now, that being said, I'm still happy to have this selfie stick. It extends a lot further than my other one does. Um, it has a nice grip, plus has a much better uh, holster from the cell phone, much safer one as well. So, even if I never get that particular feature working, that's fine. You know, I can edit the starts and stops in the editing portion, but... You know, it, just, it would just make it a little bit easier if I could use that button, because then I wouldn't have to go through every single clip and basically edit the beginning and end of each each video clip, but we'll see what happens. Once again, if you guys know of any way that I can stop this from trying to record audio from an external mic when this is plugged in, go ahead and put it in the comments. I really appreciate it. Um, it is now about 10.30, and yes, I am going to go head out to uh, the bank because I do want to go ahead and turn these rolls in. Got quite a few of them. I'm probably going to make like $30, $40 with all the ones that I have, though I have to stop at Dollar Tree because I just realized I don't have any uh, dime coin rolls, and uh, it's the cheapest place to get them. If you're at your Dollar Tree, you can get a whole pack of them for a dollar, and they usually mix and match, so you can get dimes, quarters, pennies, and nickels all in one, or or my Dollar Tree actually offers bags of just quarter roll. Ooh, excuse me, quarter rolls, dime rolls, and penny rolls. I don't think they actually order uh, offer just nickel rolls, but we'll see what they have in stock. Hopefully, they actually have them because, as far as I know, my bank does not actually give out the uh, coin rolls anymore. I remember asking them that last time, and they said, "Well, we don't really do that because everybody just buys them from." Uh, you know, Office Max, Home um, uh, Home Depot, uh, who else sells them? Office Max, Office Depot sells them, so uh, hopefully I can find them. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, well I just left the uh, thrift store and uh, they didn't have too much, but I did find a couple of items I think you'll find interesting, especially those of you that uh, like vintage uh, blank media like I do. First of all, I found two of these Maxell UR cassettes. Um, I don't actually have a date on these, but I'm guessing they're probably from around maybe 1990, 1991. Now, here's something interesting. I was wondering, back then, most of the Maxwell UR tapes were green uh, label, not red label. So I'm wondering why these were different. Then I turned around here and I saw these are from Canada. These are most likely actually sold in Canada. And then I remembered uh, back when I was younger, um, when we visit Canada, because that's where my dad's from originally, um, and I did buy some of these tapes back then. They were red label, so I'm assuming that that's because these were actually from Canada. You guys that may know better can correct me, but that's what I'm thinking, is that they may have only sold the red label back cells back then in Canada. And these are 60-minute uh, tapes. And then I picked up three of these and I'll show you one of them there. A couple of them are really, really dirty. These are Sony uh, HF Type 1 tapes. Now I know for a fact these are from the 1980s because uh, my uncle used to buy these all the time. Um, even though there isn't a specific date on them, they usually range from about 1986 to maybe around 1990 was when this particular style was the last time that they actually produced these. Um, they are brand new, but they are kind of rough. I mean, they are filthy. These were obviously stored in a garage or a shed somewhere because, uh, man, you should see. I'll show you the worst of the bunch. You can see this one right here. I can almost write my name in the muck there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I'll have to clean that off. Actually, it may even bother because I can just open it up and then uh, they should be fine. Only one of them actually had a little split in it, and oddly enough, that's the cleanest one of the bunch, so uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Of course, I'd always want to find more there, but it's always good when you find something interesting at the thrift store. I have not yet been to the bank. That is going to be my next stop, and then I'm going to head home and uh, make myself something for lunch, so I'll Talk to you a little bit later. All right, guys. So I just left the bank. They had a little bit of a line there. So uh, it took me about 10 minutes. But I got the coin wrappers changed out into cash, which is always a good thing. Because 
stores around here are really picky. I remember one time I went um, with a roll of quarters, so basically ten dollars in quarters, and they wouldn't take it. And I was shocked because a lot of these stores need to go to the bank to get change for people. And I'm like, well, money's money, and but they're like, yeah, but we can't take that many coins. And I'm like, well, it's still cash. Theoretically, they should take pennies if I brought them. Now I would never do that, but theoretically, money is money. So. Uh, I don't know. One other thing that I wanted to say that's really kind of getting on my nerves that Dollar Tree's starting to do, they always had a good deal on sodas. Um, you can get a basically a 20-ounce drink for a dollar. Well, I guess they figured it was too good because now a lot of their drinks are going down to 16.9 ounces, so basically the smaller size, with the very few exception of the Sierra Mist, the Sierra Twist, and the Dr. Peppers, but the Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, and all the Coke products are all down to 16.9 um, fluid ounces. And I, I just don't think that's fair. I mean, they, they've done this this way for the longest time. I mean, unless the soda manufacturers are drastically increasing their production prices and their costs, I don't see any reason for them to be reducing the size. And there's a, quite a few things that's go, they're going on like that in Dollar Tree. Um, the tissues are a great example. I used to be able to get the 200 count uh, Scotty's uh, tissues for a dollar. Then they went down to 160, which is still good. I mean, it's still a decent price, but now they're down to 120 count. And I can go into a regular grocery store and get that for a dollar. So, I mean, it's, it's steadily not becoming a good deal. So as much as I praise Dollar Tree and I still do like Dollar Tree, you really have to watch out for, um, for the deals there because there are certain things that are really not that good of a deal. Um, now bear in mind they still have a lot of good deals like their shampoos. The one that I use is that um, it's their brand. I can't remember the name of it offhand but it's got the uh, honey and the oat in, in it basically keeps your hair moist. Uh, the other one I get is the apple and uh, oatmeal blossom one. And stuff like that in the regular store would cost you 4 or $5, but there it's only a dollar. So once again, there are definitely good deals to be had, but you really got to watch out for the quantity. Don't always assume that when you buy a product, the quantity is going to be the same next time because they kind of fluctuate at Dollar Tree. Well, it's getting on towards noon. I'm actually getting very hungry, so I'm going to head back. Um, I might stop and grab something really quick because I don't really think we have much in the house, but uh, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, guys, so I am back home, and I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here for today. Hope you guys are really enjoying these. Stay tuned for the review of the Acer Iconia 8 tablet coming soon, I promise. Please remember to like and subscribe, and as always... Have a blessed day, everybody.